Hello, Maria here with a little March challenge. Uh, like many uh, challenge, a quick uh, art journaling spread that uh, doesn't take long. I just had this idea for um, doing a video once a month and theme it uh, to the month. So March to me is like the winds of a change. Uh, no matter where you live, when uh, well in the northern hemisphere anyway so uh, a lot of changes happen in the month of march the birds are nesting uh, trees are starting to fill up with leaves well, here in florida anyways and um, things are turning green again after the brown winter so i thought uh, doing like um homage to uh, nature actually so i'm using three kinds of greens here for uh, the ground and um, uh, usually march can be a very blustery uh, sort of month with the changing weather almost every day from uh, warm to cold again and it's usually really windy we don't get a lot of uh, rain here in the winter time, so we're always hoping that the winds will bring rain because change of um, it's usually heralds a cold front. So it all depends on where you live. But uh, trees are my friends. I love trees, so I thought, well, I'll. Uh, do a tree here and uh, I'm using a really a dark um, a raw umber I think it is and it, it was kind of thick so to do the branches I added some water to make it lighter and easier to spread as you can see I don't um, I'm not super careful here I'm just slapping the paint on because um, I, I don't want to overthink it. And the skies are blue, of course, it's a bit sunny. So I'm putting on some light blue paint. Simple. This kind of has a childish uh, <clears throat> or childlike quality about it because of the simple layers of paint and, and the bright paints uh, that children like to use. I love children's uh, or children's paintings or art in general. They they don't hesitate, so it can be very inspiring. Some might think that this is too simplified, but uh, why overdo it? <clears throat> so as you can see, I left uh, the areas between the branches. So white and then i'm using a green pasta pen to add some emerging leaves here i have added them all and filled them in i used a lighter green also to uh, as a hint of spring So uh, I decided I want to put some birds in the tree. So I have some homemade papers here I'm using. And I just cut shapes. Um, they can be just like a hint of a bird shape with two wings and a tail and a head. And, a, and then uh, you can tell it's a bird. It doesn't have to be complicated. So this was uh, 
a blackbird with a green tail. Here's some other homemade paper. So even if you don't know how to make birds, to just the shape of of wings and a body and uh, the imagination will fill in the rest. So it's uh, fun to use uh, different kinds of papers for the birds. This was, I think, a piece of wrapping paper. I love birds. They are often show up in my art. Placements can be a little tricky, but I don't think you can go wrong. So don't linger too long over the placement of things. There was a lot of blue in that bird, so um, and green too, but it kind of blended in too much. So we put it outside the tree. And here I added on a, a couple of, well, one more bird, I guess. No, two. You can barely see the one on the left. So using a pink Posca pen to outline all the bird shapes, just enhance uh, their presence. Very simple. You already have that idea of uh, like uh, birds in the trees singing. And here is, this is a symbol for the wind, blustery winds. And they are somewhat cool. So blue is a good choice for a cold wind. And they are changeable. They don't blow in the same direction all the time. So here, because it's the March challenge, I write the word March here. Could barely fit that. And I wanted to add the word, the winds of a change. So when when the winds are blowing, uh, uh, new leaves tend to get blown off the trees just like they do in the fall. And enhancing the shape with a green Posca pen. Those leaves are kind of too large, but um, they add some action to the page. I feel March is very a month full of action. So here I got some uh, little fairy pictures. I'm using a glue stick too. 
pat them down to take them down. I thought they were cute and of course fairies are busy at this time of year. The white Posca pen did not show up too well, so I'm using a uniball pen here to enhance the leaves that were falling off, just to add some interest, basically. And then uh, some little squiggles or like mini <laughs> winds to, to show the energy going up the tree in the spring. So easy. This is uh, really fun to, to do. So try, try it and you might like it. Thanks for watching.